On February 16th, a group of six riders departed from near the town of Gould and into the Never Summer Range into an area just west of Ruby Mountain and southeast of the town of Rand. They triggered a very large avalanche which caught two members of the group. One member was partially buried to his waist and uninjured, and tragically, the second rider was fully buried and was killed in the avalanche. The avalanche occurred on a steep northeast facing slope near Treeline west of Ruby Mountain. The avalanche is approximately 3,500 feet wide and spans several aspects from northwest through northeast to east. The avalanche broke three to four feet deep in a layer of faceted snow. It ran approximately 350 vertical feet and gouged deeper into the depth or near the ground as it ran. The force of the avalanche snapped a few small trees and piled debris around six feet deep with a couple areas up to 10 feet deep in the runout. The angle of the avalanche was 25 degrees, and the portion of the slope where the accident occurred averaged 37 degrees in steepness near the crown. The victim was not wearing an avalanche transceiver, so the remaining five members of the group were left to probe likely areas in the debris field. There was only one avalanche probe in the group, so they made use of this and one trail marker pole to conduct spot probing in likely areas along the last seen trajectory and near the snowmobile and trees that are in the avalanche path. Unfortunately, after several hours of probing, they were unable to locate the victim. The res rescue resumed the following day, where search and rescue personnel, along with experienced dog teams, were able to locate and then extricate the victim. We are very sad to report another tragic avalanche in the state of Colorado, and all of our sincere condolences go out to the family and friends of everyone involved.